to the United States 30 years ago, and the greatest gift that this country gave me was the freedom to choose Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And Said is in that situation right now. He refuses to deny his Christian faith, and the Iranian government continues to harass him and threaten him with more imprisonment. When they release Said, they want to make sure they release a very sick person. And Said held on to his faith and refused. But I'm very concerned. I think time uh, is of the essence. Hi, folks. Uh, as uh, Nagma Abedini uh, was uh, testifying before Congress, her husband, Pastor Saeed Abedini, who's been held in Iran since July of 2012, uh, was being uh, beaten, uh, suffering two black eyes and uh, additional injuries uh, by an unprovoked attacker in an Iranian prison. Joining us now is uh, uh, Mrs. Abedini. Hello. Good to talk to you again. Thank you for having me. All right, first of all, tell me how you get this information. How do you, how do you know what's going on in the prison uh, in, in Iran as, as it relates to your husband's uh, condition? Well, Saeed's father gets to visit him every Wednesday in prison, so he provides me all the updates. And he's but obviously then in, in Iran. Yes, he visits Saeed in Iran every Wednesday. They get about you know a few minutes together, and uh, he's able to see Saeed, and he was able to see uh, that he was beaten up pretty badly the day after I spoke in front of our Congress. And you think there's a direct uh, correlation? You spoke out and he got beaten? You know, every time there's movement, the pressure uh, on Saeed increases even more. He's in the, uh, the prison system is run by the hardliners. Um, it's not that he's just an American, but he's a convert. He's a pastor. They don't like that. And they've uh, continuously, over the last few months, increased the pressure, put him in solitary. Um, increase the pressure on him in prison. Uh, yeah, you know, I think to me it all goes back to, you know, how could we be negotiating with this country and how could the president go around praising this country uh, called Iran when, you know, when they're, they're holding Americans, including your husband, and, and, and this is happening to him. To me, if I'm president of the United States and maybe I'm naive, the first thing I say is, okay, goodwill gesture, you release our American prisoners. And that's exactly what I shared in front of our Congress, that um, if anything, you know, Iran is, we're supposed to trust Iran on a bigger issue. If anything, Iran can show goodwill gesture by releasing the Americans that it's holding hostage. You know, both our Senate and the House have uh, uh, passed unanimously a resolution calling on Iran to release uh, the Americans it's holding hostage. And that's what Iran's doing. They've taken hostages. and. The first step towards a better relationship of, of any kind of trust should be the release of these Americans, including my husband. All right. So where where are you now? Uh, you know, based on what you know um, from people you're in contact with, whether it's political administration, your, your father-in-law, the whole thing. What 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 what's your what's your level of optimism uh, now as compared to let's say a year ago? Well, I know there's more being done, especially, again, with the resolutions that were passed by both the House and the Senate unanimously calling on Iran to release a Saeed. But um, I know that Iran has drawn a red line. They don't want to talk about Saeed. They don't want to talk about human rights issues. They've threatened they would walk away from the table if any of these issues are discussed. So I know, unfortunately, because of the nuclear talks, um, Said, uh, I don't. I don't think he will be released uh, around the time that the nuclear deal is reached. I know that's being pushed aside, and um, hopefully, something that our government will uh, realize is urgent, and that if we once we do walk away from the table, it's it will be harder. But I know that uh, there's, you know, uh, we've talked about Said. Our government has talked about Said on the sidelines, but. We've really not pressured Iran enough to release the Americans because uh, Iran gets upset about that and they've threatened to walk away from the table altogether. And so, so we're we're placating Iran. We're not we're trying not to get them too mad. We don't want them to walk away. So we're saying, okay, exactly. let's not talk about uh, your husband and the others, right? Yes, we're bowing down to their demands. We're uh, respecting their red lines. All right, which, well, people could go to Facebook.com/slash Pray for Pastor Saeed Abedini. And uh, Negma, always great to talk to you. Keep the faith. Thank you. All right, take care. But for, first, uh, folks, before we come back, uh, we're going to uh, hear from uh, Rick Unger because, you know, every day right after the Steve Malzberg Show, 7 p.m. Eastern, the Daily Wrap kicks off. So let's find out what's on tap on the wrap. What's on tap on the wrap from Rick.